So welcome back to another episode of Sip the Salad Films, and I'm Coach Evans here giving you a little Bengals and Ravens uh, preview. Uh, so I'm gonna hit you with a few stats and and then give you my little piece at the end of my you know my opinion, and then we're gonna go from there. So it's gonna be a little quick quick uh, video to kind of give you a preview of what's to come potentially Sunday. <laughs> Uh, first things first, let's kind of get into the stats. Uh, passing yards, Cincinnati is ranked 29th in the league. Uh, the Ravens are ranked 32. We're, we're last in passing yards, which is funny because when you bounce over to rushing yards, we're first. So we're first in rushing yards, last in passing yards. Uh, Cincinnati is 25th in passing yards, so they're toward the bottom in both categories also. As far as scoring, we're the ninth most scoringest, if that's a word, team in the league. Uh, Cincinnati is 28th. So, you know, just from a stats perspective, we look like we should win that battle. You know, as, like we have the better offense. Flip over to the defensive side. Um, as far as the rush defense, they have the 23rd best a worst rush defense, and we have the 14th. Uh, as far as pass D, they're 25th in the pass, so they're kind of in the same area again with their with their stats. We're ninth versus the pass, so we're in the top 10 as far as pass defense. Uh, when you look at total defense, that's where the huge difference comes in at. Total defense, they're ranked number 20, 20 in, in the NFL, 20 out of 32 teams. For us, we're ranked fourth out of 32 teams, so we're in the top tier as far as total defense. A little bit about Cincinnati. They have a two-game win streak uh, coming into this game. They beat the Steelers in the TikTok Bowl, 27-17. Uh, to 17. In the turnaround last week, and beat the Texans, 37-31. to 31. Uh, Mixon, is, Joe Mixon is their leading rusher, but not by a lot. He has uh, 428 yards, and Giovanni Bernard has um, 409. So they're what and what with those rushing. So that's right. That's 837 yards between the two. As far as receivers, T. Higgins, rookie from Clemson, has 908 yards. Um, that's pretty darn good for a rookie. Tyler Boyd is not far behind him with uh, 800 and something. And I think Boyd has like 74 catches, and Higgins has like 66, 67, 68, somewhere up in there. But that's a good rookie year for T. Higgins, almost pushing 1,000 yards. And hopefully he won't get that 1,000 yards on us. Um, their best defender, in my opinion, is Von Bell. He has 111 tackles. Uh, his most notable tackle is the hit on Juju in the TikTok Bowl. But um, Bates is a pretty good uh, safety also with I think Von Bell is a strong safety, and Bates is the free safety. Uh, and Bates leads the team with, with three interceptions also. So uh, as, that's the statistical part of it. If you just look at it from a statistical point of view, we should beat these guys pretty good. But now to the opinion piece, which my opinion piece is, we haven't fared well, versus, fared well versus Cincinnati in week 17 in recent Ravens history. Now, I think this is going to be different. I think we're going to win the game, but we can't just take it for granted thinking we're going to blow these guys out because it's, history says that we're not. The only thing, the good thing about this is A.J. Green is not their main go-to guy again, and he's the guy that normally kills us in the past. I mean, just – does amazing things in week 17 but he's not here well he's there but i don't think he's gonna be a factor because i didn't see him on the injury report either so i don't he's probably gonna play thing is we're a different team we've transferred to that gap scheme which has three four five different bells and whistles off of it uh the receivers are starting to get involved in the game more and um we're starting to get healthy we're starting to all bounce back from the the COVID situation uh guys are starting to you know the the injury list is long but it's look it's like a didn't practice but still playing type deal. So it's more like a rest instead of a you're not practicing because you hurt. And with that being said, I think we're gonna come out on top like uh 37 to 20. 37 to 20. And if we get up, if we get up early, if, if it's it's garbage time, I do look for uh Harbaugh to pull some guys toward the end. If it's like a not in question situation, because we're gonna turn around and play the number two, three, or four seed next week. 
But um, with that being said, I want to thank everybody for you know tuning in. I want to thank my Patreon subs. I didn't list them this time, but I will be listing them on the, the next one. We got a new one the other day. Uh, this is the first video of 2021, and this is Coach Evans with Simply Tally Films, and I'm out.